Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Ladrib, and this is Community Spotlight, where instead of us making videos for you, you make videos for us. We found some awesome FPV drone videos from the community and we want to share them. Hopefully introduce you guys to some new people to follow and get these guys some, uh, some more subscribers. So let's get right into it. Our first category for this community spotlight is sick tricks and rips. So good all around FPV freestyle action. Starting off, we've got Insane FPV. Really high energy song, and what I like is he's got a good mix of styles and definitely has flow. He's got some crisp tricks, some, you know, fluid tricks. He's got, oh, that, that crisp inverted yaw spin, like, that was hot. And then he goes over here and does some Matty stuff, and then, you know, he's also got some flowy, split -y sort of things. Tight proximity, these tall trees, look like they'd be a ton of fun to fly. I like how when he power loops up, he's able to keep the trees in the field of view the whole time as he's going up and they just crest right between them. Really well done. I've seen a lot of clips from Zane and he is always, he's always a strong pilot. Our next featured pilot is Orby. FPV. This is just too epic. This dot! Oh! And I love the effect that he put when he hit the ground and it like shook and all that stuff. And uh, just really high energy, tearing it up. Oh, and I like that going through and then back. Super cool. And this fog, man, when he gets up there, it's like he's, it looks like he's like in the clouds. It's just fog, but like that's just a really, cool effect and what a great spot. That dive though, that dive right at the beginning, that's what hooked me, it was like, oh, that is awesome. Next up we've got Jubal Spano with another dive clip, but he's going backwards through multiple gaps. You're giving Corey Tapp a run for his money on this one. Uh, cricket, uh, what, what, bam, bam, two gaps. I know Cricket would be impressed. This video is by Farouk FPV. Guys, watch this whole video. Link in the description to this video and every video we're featuring. And this is just a great freestyle video. I was captivated by the whole thing. It's got a very nice bluish color grade on it. And the style on this, it's, I don't know how to describe it. There's. There's something unique about this guy's style. That right there, it was that. That movement when he's coming out of this swoopy thing and oh, locks into the orbit. It's that, I don't know how to describe it, but it was really cool. I just find myself watching that one bit over and over. He's just coming in and then boop. But don't press pause and run it back too many times because this whole video, like I said, is great to watch through. So just sit back, take it in and enjoy this one. Awesome work, Farouk FPV. Our next category is micros. We wanna show some love to the little guys. We don't feature micros enough and they are so much fun and a great way to get into the hobby. They're less expensive, a lot low risk to fly. You can fly them indoors and they're getting more and more capable. Some of these clips, some of the things that these micros are getting capable of, mind blowing. So Christian Jordan Tesoro, look at this, it's Matty Flip and then back into the power loop. And I had to rewatch that a couple times because I really thought that he just reversed the video, but he didn't. You can tell from the timer and the other OSD elements, but like that was really cool. And man, just that he's doing these tight Matty flips in this like proximity tree area. Man, look at that, it was, it was really close. What a time to be alive. All right, here is another crazy micro trick. Look, what? was that exactly? I, so he looks up, snaps back, and as he's snapping back, he goes up into this, this light fixture and corkscrews through the gaps in this structure. It, I, I'm gonna call this a snapback corkscrew. It's so cool. So cool. So guys, something we like to do with these community spotlight videos is pick one of the videos that we feature and do a giveaway. And this time we are giving away a Rotor Riot HD1 frame USA edition. So we've done a limited edition run of the Rotor Riot HD1 frame and some of the carbon is made in America. It's cut in Ohio, and it's something we've wanted to do for a while, and if it goes well, hopefully we could expand it and, and continue to do some uh, USA editions of the frame. So this is just a, a trial 
limited edition run. The top plate features laser etching of uh, the Rotor Riot logo. It's kind of like that US themed t-shirt we have and I think it looks really cool. So if you guys want to support some drone frames being cut in America, you can pick up an HD1 US edition on the Rotor Riot store and one of the pilots that we are featuring here is going to get one of those for free. Let's get back to the videos. Our next category is location. This is tofu number 10 FPV. It is beautiful. I just I just love those mountains that just jut up out of nowhere. He's just skimming them and he's got the he's got the cinematic feel, really chill music. I just I like the style of flying. It's it's really well flown for the location. He does some dives and things like that, but for the most part, it's just very like mellow and letting the scenery speak for itself. Here we have George FPV and the title of this video is This is not a simulator. And I can see why he called it that because it really, there's something about it. I don't know if it's the color grade or if the this, the boats are really just that vibrant, but gosh, it just looks like almost CGI. And the flying is also really crisp. George is always bringing the fire. Great location, great use of location. Keep killing it, George. You're always impressing us with the stuff you do. So everybody loves getting to fly their FPV drone in cool locations. And another thing everyone loves is chasing things. We all love getting to chase cars, boats, whatever. So this next category is chasing things. So Seps here got to do some super bike chasing on an actual road course and it looks awesome, man. I mean, I love seeing the angle that these guys are at from a really unique perspective. And he mixes in some like B-roll where you get the audio and you get kind of the third person view of what's going on. And it's really cool that you can see the bikers and actually see the drones right on them. And then right here, boom, that's the shot we all wanted to see. As soon as you saw the bikes, I know what you thought. You're like, are they gonna go under a wheelie? And yes, he did. He got to go under the wheelie. Excellently done. And just the, the speed that these things are going at, it is not gonna be easy to, to, to chase them with the drone. You can't fake it, because I mean, the angle that they're, that they're leaning at through the turns, like, they're at speed. And so the pilots are having to keep up with them. And like, that, it's, I love it. So here we have another chasing video, but this one is a little bit lower energy, but it's still super impressive. This guy is getting to chase some skiers going through very fresh powder and it is so pretty. And he's playing everything in, in like slow motion. So you're seeing the powder come out from like the skis just like in this cloud. It's just, it's just really nice. And I think, I don't know if it's sunset or sunrise, whatever, but the sun is at that perfect point where the lighting is just looking great. It's got the long shadows. But I just, I just love the effect of that powder coming out. So just chase everything. Just chase all the things. Here we have Alex Kreider doing some air to air, AKA chasing a wing. Getting to chase other RC aircraft is one of the things that like really inspired my love of RC flight. Just air to air footage is always so fun to watch and so fun to do. And this is fast. You don't see a lot of this where the wing is really at speed and low to the ground and the quad's able to keep up with it. Seeing someone not afraid to push their wing a bit, that's, you know, because wings, they don't, they're not necessarily as durable as our carbon fiber drones, which, you know, will bounce off most things. These wings, eh, the foam usually, usually is going to break. So when they're willing to push it and do some stuff, it always makes for a good clip. Our next category is progression. That is one of the most fun parts of FPV, trying to improve and get better as a pilot and then helping other people improve, helping other people learn new things. So we've got two clips here. This first clip is by Tarek Jelani Maccabee and they're sharing their progression and learning what I like to call a reverse split S where you flip upside down and then pitch forward and shoot under a gap, kind of like a half matty flip. And uh, they're working on it with these this light post thing, which is a great obstacle to learn on because it's nice and tall, so you got lots of room for error. And you know, it's cool seeing the, seeing the progression, seeing the failed attempts, ultimately getting to a real clean execution. Seeing people learn new things and improve as a pilot, it's always inspiring. It makes me want to get out and 
keep pushing myself and learning new things. And now in this progression video, we've got a pilot hoping you guys learn. This is a trick tutorial. I love trick tutorials and I love seeing pilots try doing trick tutorials and sharing their knowledge and their own way of approaching tricks and their own style. So Rodo here is doing a sideways power loop and he's got this trick on lock. This might be the cleanest sideways power looping I've seen. This guy, I've actually had my eye on. He has got a lot of really impressive videos. Definitely check out his channel, not just for this really helpful trick tutorial, but all of his flying is really, really great. So like this video isn't even his best flying, but I wanted to feature this clip because I think it's so excellent when pilots uh, go out of their way to try and help share their knowledge and their skills and help everybody improve and get better. I gotta get out and work on this stuff. He's, he's, got, some, he's got some good tips here. I need to find myself a branch and start doing the loopy things. And that brings us to our final category for this episode of Community Spotlight. And I, actually, I don't, I don't know what to call this category. There's, there's only one video. Just look at this video. I stumbled across. Look at this, look at this video. This guy only has four subscribers, and this video at the time of recording only has 27 views. I don't know, I just think it's a cool video. There's way too much effort put into this video for it to have so few views, so check this out, but I think it's really funny. He's doing the Star Wars thing, he's got Quad Wars, and so he gets to the FPV, and it's it's like the, the in-cockpit view. And we've seen this before, but I just feel like he takes it to the next level because he puts in the, the animations here of the, the pilots in the cockpit. And then there's there's the over the shoulder look. Look at that. He's got the over the shoulder going on. And then uh, he's editing some like TIE fighters that he's chasing and stuff like that. So just really fun, really creative. Definitely put a lot of effort into it. And I just think it's a fun video. So check this guy out. All right, guys. And with that, it's time to pick a winner of the HD one frame, and this time I'm going to pick Orbi FPV with that epic behind the stairs dive because I really want to see you go back and get it clean. So hopefully uh, you can build up a whole new drone and not be afraid to bash the hell out of it because the HD1 is a really tough frame. Great job Orbi FPV and great job everyone that we featured here. We hope that you will check out all these pilots. Again, links in the description to all of these awesome rippers. I'm Ladrib, this has been Community Spotlight and we'll see you next time. Thanks.